Welcome everyone. We're going to jump into a quick update video on how to launch Kali Linux on AWS EC2. So I'm in the AWS console. They all want to navigate to the EC2 section and then do launch a new instance. This may look different for you. This is the new experience. <clears throat> if you are on the old experience, a lot of the instructions are largely the same. So the things just may be in uh, different locations. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. <coughs> Similarly here, we're going to search for a AMI. So I did Kali search. And then the result that we want is going to be in the marketplace right here, Kali Linux 2022.2 for now. So I'm going to select that. Continue. And then some of the things that you'll want to look at possibly customizing here or changing is the instance type or size. If you're trying to stay within the free tier, you may want to look at the micros, T2, T3 micros, um, key pair. If you've not created one to log into things previously, you'll want to create one. Um, I have, so that I'll go ahead and select a key pair that I already have created. And then network wise, um, again, you should have a default VPC. These things will go into, you'll need to make sure that it's getting a public IP so that we can log into it. And then lastly, you can you can default the security group. This will let you SSH in, but that's not going to be enough to let us do everything we need to do. You're going to want to create a security group that allows both RDP and SSH from your IP. That would be the most secure method. If you did the 0000, then that would allow anybody to connect um, with those methods, obviously not knowing your password. So create those things, get them assigned, and then go ahead and create your instance. I'm going to do a quick pause here until we get the instance created. All right, after a couple of minutes, your instance should be in a healthy state running and you're ready to connect. You're going to want to go ahead and SSH into this instance. I'm going to hit connect, go to the SSH tab, and then you can copy and paste this command. It'll be mostly the same. The only thing you'll change here is instead of logging in as root, you'll want to log in as Kali. So bring up your terminal SSH client, whatever it is that you use. Let's log into that instance. Once in, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is change the password for the Kali account. We're gonna need this later when we RDP into it. And I'll have these commands in the notes of the video here. Set this to a password that you prefer, ideally something reasonably complex. All right, after the password is updated, we're gonna to need to go ahead and start working on installing some of the required packages. First, let's run a quick update to make sure the packages that we do install are the latest. And then we wanna run following command once this is done to install the required dependencies so that we can um, log in using RDP. Um, again, these commands will be in the notes. I'm going to pause here while we wait for this to load. Sometimes it can take a couple minutes. Once those installations complete, our next step is going to be to allow our Kali user to RDP in. So we'll run another command. Um, this one is going to Update one of the config files to allow the Kali user. Okay, once that is done, we're going to run a couple more commands here to start the RDP service and then to set it to start every time we reboot the instance in the event that it does get rebooted. Once that is done, <clears throat> you're going to want to go and get the public IP of your instance. Open up remote desktop, paste that IP in and go ahead and connect. And um, I forgot to mention, but if at any point, like when you're trying to SSH in or when you're trying to um, RDP in, if you have any problems there, or it's not letting you connect. There's a good chance your security group didn't get set up properly. You'll want to revisit that step. Um, I also covered in more detail in, in prior Kali Linux um, setup videos here. Um, when you do connect though, go ahead and put your username Kali password is whatever you set up in the very first step um, for your own password. 
and really that's it. That's going to go ahead and um, get you logged in. Then you'll be in a RDP environment to your Kali Linux. I'll resize this window to give it a second to load so that you can see it. And it's as quick as that. Um, this makes great for testing environments. You can get um, complex if you need to and set up um, to where you can test between two different instances and, and do a lot of education this way. So thanks. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Otherwise, I will be sure to include all these commands in the notes.